Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Unbox Live. I'm your host, Rob Gagne. And I'm your other host, Nate Beck. We are going to dive deep into this whole Chikar thing, or basically wood tips. I looked at this right away, saw some people on Instagram uh, using it, thought it was a gimmick at first, because I was like, you know, it's just really like, why would you need that? Why do you need to put your cigar in a wood tip? Does it really actually do what it says? Right. And more importantly, sometimes I don't even want to finish the last 15 minutes of the cigar because it just isn't good. Right. Like at that point, it's like, all right. Like you get down to about here. Yeah, you're done. You're like, you're good. I'm done. I'm pitched the cigar. But then there's certain cigars where I'm like, man, this is still really good. I know. And I want to keep going with this. So that's where this comes into play. So I was actually at PCA was smoking uh, Patina's new Sumatra and really enjoying it and wanted to finish it. So I went and found these guys because I knew they were at the show. And I was like, all right, let's, uh, you know, I was, I was really nice about it. I was like, hey, I really want to try this. Is it something I can try? And the owner, uh, Mike, literally just handed me his, took off this silicone piece that's um, on the mouthpiece, put a new one, new fresh one on. He's like, here you go. I was like, sweet. I got to go because I have another interview to do, but can I bring this back he said absolutely i'll tell you this i liked it i really really liked it i really am eating my words on it being a gimmick and uh i think it's worth the investment if you like to enjoy cigars all the way down um or more importantly i've also used this when the cigar is kind of you know spitting that like juicy bitter tobacco um, sometimes you can recut it and get rid of that, which I do often. And other times it comes back. Right. And I've just actually stopped recutting it and I just throw it in this. Yeah. I've used mine. Mike was gracious enough to send us a couple more after, uh, our last unbox. So that's what, two weeks ago. It showed up on Monday. So they mean super fast turnaround and here I'll unbox mine, Matt, if you want to pop over to the other camera here so this is what the boxes look like and i believe they have two different colored boxes they have a black one and then they have more of like a tan yeah leather looking box so when you open it up this is what you get so inside the box you'll get your chakar you get a case you get i think five silicone tips a couple that are like the color of yours which is like kind of gray silicone and then three uh, clear ones and then you get the Chikar. And I've been using this every day since I got it. <laughs> and I will admit, and then this little piece, we'll talk about that in a second. That is a magnet attachment. So you can pop it on your car if you have to head into the store, onto your golf cart. Uh, and it is a really stout magnet. And I wanted to show you, because I reached out to Mike about this. Uh, one of the things I had concerns about when I first started using this was it gets a pretty noticeable smell. Like you'd smell inside a pipe the first time you lit it. Um, you know, a little bit of like an ashtray smell. And I'm like, do you notice any flavors that transfer from the, sh the Chikar to the next cigar? And he's like, I really don't. I just let it really patina and everything tastes great. And I a hundred percent agree with him. There is no transfer of flavor. And the more I've used this, the less of that, smell I get it's more like a just a good cigar smell sure and Matt if we can go close here hang on we gotta move that light yeah so if we can see this there is around the edge on the inside it's really so the way this wood looked it's like a burled uh like ochre basically what you'd see a pipe made out of and it's got this beautiful texture I'll pull off the silicone tip and then this one comes with resin that's filled in to all the gaps on that burl and it's got that raw wood. So it's really striking. Uh, it is really nice to use these silicone tips cause it's really easy to hold it in your mouth with your teeth, but it's gotten really patinaed like a pipewood age on the inside of this, uh, Chikar. And it smokes absolutely beautifully. And everyone that I've talked to all the videos I've watched on their Instagram page, uh, even one of my good friends, used another one that Mike sent that's made out of tiger eye. So it's actually made out of stone 
And it really accentuates and heightens the flavors of the cigar. And really what you do is you just wet the end of your cigar, a little yeah. bit of pressure, and then give it a little turn, and it's in. Yeah, it's... And it's fantastic. Like, it's absolutely fantastic. The other thing, too, that I like is that it's tapered. So it does... I, it, I didn't think it would fit a Lancero, but it does. And I didn't think uh -huh. it would fit tapered cigars, and it does. So yep. um, there's really hasn't been a cigar that I haven't been able to put in this. The only one, and I had this yesterday, I had a a very, or a couple days ago, a very box pressed cigar, almost like a similar to like CLE does. It was a brand called Buffalo 10. So it's a real flat box press. Oh, sure, sure. And when I added that cigar, there was enough gap on the top and bottom of that box press. No draw. To really make it hard to draw on that cigar. But that's pretty rare because there aren't a lot of cigars like that. They also sell this um, stand as well that you can just, if you don't. And they have a really sure. cool one that lights up and changes colors as yeah. the light changes. It's really pretty cool. And the magnet, like, uh, here, let's keep that camera it. on. But here's the here's the magnet box. It has three different magnets. There's a black, kind of the go the smoked gray, and then a clear. And it really holds on tight. I like it. So here, let me throw this on, Rob. I have a Jeep that I use uh, drive often with my top off, and I'm so, able to just stick it right on the Jeep on the inside door. So we will, let's see if this will stick up here. This I think metal. this is all aluminum. It is all aluminum. There we go. <laughs> stick into the there we go. turning knob. <laughs> we get creative. So you, I mean, so on that note, then I also have to put it inside the category of I guess cigar holders because mm -hmm. like, and I still haven't done this video yet, but I bought like $130 worth of cigar holders for the golf course. And like, now I'm like, Oh, this is, this is one of those pieces that I can actually take on the golf course. Mm -hmm. Um, which I like. The other thing is, at least for me, you can actually burn this past the, the wood part. You can yep. actually let it burn all the way down right as down in. far as you can get it. Um, I will say this, mine did whatever finishes on here, it did bubble, um, but it okay. didn't. And I, I see some discoloration from the heat, but I don't mind that. Cause to me, it's like a pipe, you know, it's kind of like yep. the aging of a pipe and the, the natural change that will happen. I think of it like, you know, wood getting burnished, you know, if it's unfinished or it's just got a natural, even lightly oiled finish, the more you handle that with your fingers and the oils in your skin, just really add its own unique patina. And I think it really makes it even more beautiful i think it right. works fantastic i have no problems with a good draw because it's a really good seal mm -hmm. um I, I like the fact that i'm not holding something hot so i don't feel like i'm rushing i'm able to actually just let it sit there i can either set it on the ashtray um it just yep i'm telling you if you want to get more out of your cigar <clears throat> this is a great product for it if you're looking i know certain people that only like to they don't really like the, the cigar in their mouth. Um, the other thing too, is like the, once you cut a cigar, sometimes you have those little small shavings yep. or if you're smoking value-based cigars that are short filler or mixed, this would be a great tool to get that out of your mouth. Absolutely. Cause it wouldn't come into your mouth. It would essentially, I mean, I don't know how loose it it's packed, but, uh, and I haven't tried it, but I don't get any bits mm -mm. in my mouth when I use this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And our, Rob and I's friend, uh, I let him use it on this past Saturday and he had some really good feedback on how this performs. And one of the things he said is that, you know, if you smoke multiple cigars in a day, this is going to help limit how much nicotine your body absorbs because you don't have your mouth in direct contact with the end of that cigar. So it's kind of a nice bonus if you smoke several cigars in a day. And Matt, if you want to throw up Trevor's comment. Uh, Trevor Bain says, how many cigars do you smoke on average per day? <laughs> and also, do you both wear hats so your hair doesn't smell? <laughs> no, we just like them because they're cool. Just so having that we're wearing hats today. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, but cigars per day, I'm I'm probably on average four or five a day. Rob, how about you? I think it averages out to one a day. But I mean, some days like yesterday, I smoked three. Um, some days I don't smoke any. And yeah. then I'll go three days without smoking a cigar. So for me, it's... Um, I just man manage my palate. I don't manage my consumption. I manage my palate. So. Yep. But this really is 
like this works cigar after cigar after cigar. It's a really nice tool. Um, yeah. Put Casper's question up. What is that? Cool gadget. Could use one out here. Camping in my pop-up on the river with my parrot and two boxers. Oh, wow. You took a bit bird with you. That's crazy. And wife listening to the Bova boys. Hey man, cheers. Um, uh, cheers, ladies smoking on an Ave, Ave, oh, smoking an Ave Maria. Reconquista. That is a great word that I know how to pronounce <laughs> completely. <laughs> Just help me out there, buddy. Reconquistada. There you go. <laughs> Lo love the vibe. Thank you, Casper. <laughs> um, for let's get it over to the website because I gotta I gotta run numbers whether or not this is uh, worth the investment. So for me, um, again, I'm looking at this coming in at least under two hundred dollars for me to even want to pop on it. Um, there you go. So you can just get the actual wood tip basically for a hundred bucks. You can get the kit for a buck 50. Now the thing about the kit that I like is the silicone. Yep. Um, the leather case holder, actually that is another thing that I like. So that blue thing in that image is the leather case. Um, it literally has a magnet um, top and you literally pop the Chikar right inside there. And it is pronounced Chikar because Mike is his last name, Chicarello. Uh -huh. That's, he kind of just, I think that's combine right. the two he combined the first part of his name and uh cigar c-a-r and just thought hey it's car which is great because it's not like wood tip and like everyone can co copy that this is like a unique branding on this and first thing i've ever seen to come to market right and another thing that our friend noticed that he really liked is our friend is not a big fan of uh obvious branding on tools when, yes. you know, across the board and really on every one of these chikars you can you can't even really see it in the camera but it's engraved into the embossed into the wood so it's really discreet uh on the cutter so it's like you can't even see it there it's no. like right in the middle but it's really discreet so and that's super nice i would say the ones that are online have bigger branding just for those photo reasons. Exactly. And I don't think the rest of them have that strong of branding, unless that was like batch one, but, um, no, even the, even the stone one that he sent is like ours. It's very discreet. You right. have to really kind of rotate it to see that. It, word yeah. You can only catch it in the light because yep. it kind of just is like a light laser engraving. Yep. Um, so let's jump back over to the website. You got a buck 50 for the big kit. Uh, which has, to me, those tools are worth it. You get all the silicone, which I would strongly recommend. You get the brush and the towel. Eh, you know that's okay for me. I don't, I don't foresee myself cleaning this a whole lot, just because I think, like a pipe, it needs to be seasoned properly. And uh, like Nate said, the, the smell at first is a little bit off-putting. Yep. So I wouldn't store it with my cigar like travel case. Yep. I've just always stored it in the leather case. And that's why yep. I like the little faux leather case or whatever yep. it is. Otherwise you could just buy it for a hundred bucks, buy the silicone accessories. Uh, you could buy the holder separate, go into the shop accessories. I want to know how much this holder is. I don't even know. Uh, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. I mean, that's cheap. Seven bucks for the silicone things, $20 for the, uh, magnet golf cart slash you get three of them. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So all in all, let's just say we did the buck 50, we did the magnet and we did the holder. We're still less than 200 bucks yep. for everything. And the great part about that holder is, and he mentions this on his Instagram page, it can be a little wonky, especially over the last couple of years with COVID setting your cigar on a public ashtray in a cigar lounge. You never know what right. residue is there. Now you have your own holder that is just you and you can set that anywhere you want. You don't have to set it on that communal ashtray. Right. The only thing I would say about this is I would like to see this in um, a sturdy silicone so that I can, it's mm -hmm. lighter to travel. I don't necessarily, I do like the fact that it's all aluminum right now, but yeah. um, it does make it for a little bit heavier of a carry. Yep. Other than that, I mean, really... Okay, so let's just say buck seventy, buck eighty, all in. Yeah. With everything, um, you're getting the last fifteen minutes of a cigar. A cigar, let's just call it ten bucks. Yep. So, let's just say that's like you know, that is what do you want to call it? A dollar, dollar fifty, two bucks. Yeah. 
So, I mean, it would take a lot of smokes if you're just going to like do the math. But the problem with that is like, I'm not even worried about getting the last 15 minutes of the cigar. I'm more worried about my experience. And this makes my cigar experience better. It really does. If I like the cigar and I want to keep it going, or if the cigar becomes, you know, that oil starts to build up by the mouthpiece and it gets bitter. I hate that. Yeah. And every draw on this, even as it gets down to the end, if you start slowing it a little bit, is it the smoke is cool. Oh, yeah. Because you have this extra, about an inch to allow that smoke to cool. Yeah. I would say, you know, I'm skeptical. You and I probably both Very skeptical are skeptical this. about the tools that we use for our own cigars. Now, we get a lot of, we get to try and see a lot of cool stuff being in the cigar industry. But every video of smokers that are skeptical on their Instagram page. Every last one of them is like, ah, crap. This is pretty awesome. Right. And I use this. I would absolutely fork out the money for this. Right. A hundred percent. I would buy this, uh, and enjoy this. And I'm going to use this for years to come. This is a fantastic cigar tool. The thing I find very funny about cigars is that, you know, cigar smokers have very strong opinions about, a lot of things when it comes to cigars. And so the comments I get about this Chakar, they're like, nope, hard pass. It's like, that's fine. Use what you like. It's just, it's the same with cutters, you know, V cut, straight cut, punch cut, do what you like. I have to say for me and Rob, I think you'd agree a hundred percent. This thing works absolutely fantastic. Right. It's great. I would. Yeah. And I was in that camp, you know, I was like, that's stupid. You, mm-hmm. you just smoke the cigar. Don't be trying to add unnecessary accessories so i'm right there with you like if you're out there thinking this is just the dumbest thing uh, dude i was in your seat yep i thought the same thing until i tried it so i would say that if you're if you're interested at all getting more out of your cigar or just in general you feel like this would be in your wheelhouse just try it before you knock it Uh, but if you're if this doesn't even appeal to you then great knock it that's fine like it's not for everyone but I would say this, it's not a elite thing. Mm -mm. You know, it's not a like, Ooh, I have a wood tip, blah, blah, blah. Like that's not it at all. It's actually a function thing for me. It literally makes my cigars taste better. Like in that I'm able to get a cleaner smoke out of that cigar, not colored by anything on the tobacco, not by any, you know, towards the end here. I mean, this should be really hot and I'm not getting hot smoke out of it. And I'm also just able to let it rest for the minute, minute and a half, two minutes. Yep. I will. It is important to note that when we smoke these this past weekend, we smoked them down into the holders, both the wood and the stone. And we did notice that the stone holder does get noticeably hot. Once that cherry goes past the edge of the Chakar. It is hot on your fingers. It's not hot if you hold it down here on the silicone tip or even just right here. See, then but to me, that defeats hot. the purpose because I like the fact that the whole time I've ever had this and smoked yep. it all the way down, it's been cool. The, the wood, wood one. did not. So I would go with the wood if that's your game because yep. that to me is the whole reason why I'm able to enjoy the cigar longer is because I'm not worried about how hot it is and I'm not like, oh, I got to put this down. And I'm not the type of person who's going to use that stupid stick. I just won't. Mm -mm. I don't like it. I don't think it diffuses uh, heat. Like people who sell those are like, oh, it diffuses the heat. I say BS to that. That's just hard BS in my opinion. I haven't had that experience. I've tried using them. They always fall off. Then I got another hole in my cigar that I have to plug up if I'm going to try to finish it. It looks dainty and weird because I'm holding something smaller I look like I'm it's roach clipping. It, it. just yeah. looks weird to yeah. me. This does not look weird to me. Nope. I can, I have enough to fully grab this. I can hold it like a, a cigar, talk to people. It's not going to fall out. I'm not like sitting there dainty. Yep. Like as soon as I get to that point, I'm not enjoying the cigar anymore because I have to be a dainty. I don't smoke cigars in a dainty way. I'm not, that's not me. The cigar is an extension of me and that's it. So right. I'm if never going to use a poker. If you are, you and I were in the lounge using one of these, unless you were really up close, most people wouldn't even notice that we were hmm. using it. It's right. just, it, it looks like an extension of the cigar. It's kind of disguised by your fingers. Yeah. So that's our two cents on that. We're getting 20 minutes in. That is a wrap on this. If you like it, head over to their website and de- definitely check it out. Um, the website and- is Chikar Life. 
dot com. com. Yeah, and so. their Instagram handle is also the same, Chikar Life. Yep. Follow them. They're really good guys uh, and ladies. Really good company. Awesome people. Can't speak highly enough of this. Okay, Love real it. quick. Trevor said, how do you clean it? So how, how do you clean the item as they may... Uh, as is there any instructions on yes. that? Yes, yes, there is. Uh, literally, I think Mike said he just uses water and the little terry cloth towel or whatever, yep. and then the brush if you have bigger bits in there, but yep. like that's it. You could use a mild soap if you wanted to, but I wouldn't be just because I don't want that soap flavor there. And I tried that the first time just to see what kind of residue it would leave. I wouldn't use soap either just because I, I'm really liking how it's naturally aging and patina and it's getting that, uh, uh, it's curing essentially. It's almost, it's seasoning it basically like you right. would a barbecue grill or a pipe. I like that at best. What I do is I just take a paper towel or the soft cloth and I just give it a little wipe out. I let right. it dry and I pop it back in the box or in the case and it's fantastic. I have not. So full disclosure, I have not even cleaned mine yet. So I'm, I'm trying to just see what it does, you know, naturally. Um, I will say this, the silicone pieces every once in a while get, you know, dirty. So I have washed those off, but again, I just use water and the clear ones. They do yellow because it's the tobacco is right. going to yellow that, but it doesn't really matter to me. I actually like it because it looks yeah. more patina. Uh huh and less white. Anyways, mm -hmm. overall, this is a fan favorite. It is definitely a must have for Rob and Nate. Um, if it's a must have for you, head over and grab one. It's a great item. So yep. cheers. Have cheers. a great Friday.